Hey, what's up, guys? This is DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod up for Farm Sim 22. In total, today we have 37 mods for you. For all platforms, 16 new and 14 updates. That's 30 mods for crossplay today. And PC and Mac players have two new and five updates. In today's video, I'll show you all the new ones plus the customization. And of course, we'll go over all the mods that got an update. And don't forget, today's DLC day. We dropped a video on that earlier today. Let's jump into the mods. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms platforms we have the farmville valley map this is a small map well they say it's a small map it's not small at all uh it's in the mountainous regions got plenty of forestry areas around uh they do say it's created live and within 24 hours and uh, just to mention it you could kind of tell uh there are plenty of smaller fields around on here and of course you can have the outside of the map for 14 million dollars and actually the outside of the map is pretty easy to get into as well so i'll show you guys that momentary it does look like it's built around erlingrad so if you guys like the outside of that the swiss area that type of thing swiss alps uh, you will love this as well as you can see pretty basic a pretty standard map overall nothing too wild and crazy nothing too big uh it's certainly nothing game changing on here but it is really cool to see around nonetheless taking a look at the pda on here you can see there's not a lot of points of interest as it were we do have a couple places around but i will also tell you guys that a lot of these areas are mods and you will have to download placeables in order to have all of these areas and as always you cannot start it up without having those so you will need those uh, again taking a look at the purchasable land we do have a couple areas farmlands 34 33 32 31 and farmland number one down here and of course as i mentioned we do have that entire outside area going on for us that is farmland 35 as they've got it listed right through there now of course we have all these areas through here too so if you guys want to get into the mountains do some logging you can do that and that's the area right behind us that we were just looking at so let's take a look at the owned items. Small tractors, we have the Iseki, we have Zader Tractor Medium, we have the Claws Carrot for your tipper trailer, we have a K-branded 4040 if you guys need a power harrow, we also have a K-branded Cedar to match up with that, Fertilizer Spreader, we have a Weeder which will also plant grass, cover crop, and canola, that's pretty nice. We also have a front mower. We have a round baler and wrapper configuration. We do have some stuff for doing forestry and logging. So you do have that front loader. And then we have a couple things for that front loader. Uh, something that I'm trying to show off more is the crop calendar. So uh, if you're curious, here's your crop calendar as well. Just a heads up, the map does require some things. You're gonna need the chicken barn large, cow barn with pasture, grain mill, biomass, power plant, sawmill, and sawmills pack in order for the map to work properly for you. You guys know how I feel about having to download one mod just to download a bunch more. Uh, also, a mod that we're going to talk about later in the video also requires some IT runner stuff right here. However, uh, I have been told that that will probably be removed. So maybe by the time you guys are watching this, that won't be a thing anymore. Next, we've got something super cool that we haven't talked about in a little while other than on Farm Sim News. The JCB Backhoe Loader. This is super cool. So you've got the crane area on the back. You've got your front loader on the front and in the middle you've got a jcb tractor 235 horsepower you got the variable transmission 500 liters of fuel 39 mile per hour max speed so it is quick and it weighs 13.2 tons wheel options bring us nucky and tires trailer board michelin and back in again now we cannot change anything so what you see there is what you get we also have a main color which can quite literally be anything and that's really nice. It's very nice that you could change this to whatever you would like. And the rim colors are the same with the addition of chrome. Pretty cool there. Then we have the universal bucket, which goes on the front. We have basically openable or standard. So you guys can dump it up on the bottom if you want to. And then we have the levelers, which are activated or deactivated. 2.5 thousand liter capacity. Then we have the universal bucket for the back. 1.8 thousand liter capacity. And then levelers on here are active or deactivated. And then if you want all together, you can buy it all together that way you don't have to go through and connect everything up you could just buy it all as it is so i would like to get some of these ourselves so we'll get this we'll get that and we'll jump in here and see what we got let's turn on our help window so we've got up and down 
as we would normally expect to see there. And then it looks like that's about all we've got. We do have a change driving direction. That's pretty cool. And we've still got a connection for the front. Now, it is showing as control group number two at the top. Uh, and it doesn't look like I'm able to do much with that. But if we come over here and we unfold the backhoe, it raises up. Now we go into control group number one. So this is exactly what you guys would expect to see from that. And it even moves side to side. Let's see if we jump in first person here. How cool is that? That's, that's pretty sweet. We've even got an extra setup there. So let's do this. Let's change our driving direction. And we'll come around here and pick up the front bucket. See what we've got. So it looks like we can control one or the other. Nothing too wild and crazy through there. And then we've got the open and close through there. Now we can also open up that bucket, which will drop everything right onto the ground. And then lastly, let's bring it around. Let's pick up the bucket on the back. Here we go. Unfold. Can we drive when we've got this enabled? We can, but it's not the easiest thing on earth. If I'm honest, there we go. Hook up to the bucket and we've got ourselves a backhoe bucket. So if you guys were wanting to do any type of um, construction or stuff like that, well, this may be a great mod for you guys. Keeping it going with JCB. Next up, we have the JCB Force Pack. This is from HR Force. This includes the 4220 and the 8330. These are skitters. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Check that out. You got a crane on the back of it. We can also bump up the engine a little bit. So on the 4220, we can go 235 horsepower. 310, 398, it backed out. So a big engine in there. Will Brands bring us Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Fred Stein, Nookie and Tires, and all the first first herbs. So you've got all the chains and stuff like that. That's what we're going to go with. Fender on the back, yes or no. Uh, doesn't really matter what you go with there. I think it looks better without with the crane, but maybe that's just me. And then fenders on the front, yes or no, we'll just go without today. Claw color. These are all of your color options for the claw. Let's go bright green. Crane color. Let's go toothpaste tractor green. All our first first, always like a red, so we'll go red there. Main color for the tractor itself. I love their orange metal, so we'll go with that. And then the forest cage color, just for fun, let's go bright bright yellow then we have the roof color itself i'm thinking a baby blue and then hood color well you guys know we have to go with pink here of course but i mean naturally then the rim colors of course are rim colors at the end of the day uh, it doesn't look like we've got a chrome or anything like that so we'll just stick with white and you've got all these massive color options on there jumping over to the 8330 it's basically identical in every way the engine options 248 horsepower sorry 348 horsepower we could go with 474 or 585 the one thing that would be really cool is if we could remove the crane from this setup and just have a 585 horsepower fast track 8330. That would be pretty cool. Uh, wheel options are virtually identical on here as well with those all phosphor tires. Uh, front fender, yes or no. Back fender, yes or no. And then we have the same color options as well. Uh, massive, massive bit right here if you guys are looking for something really cool to work in the woods with but if you want just a regular tractor we got you there too this is the john deere 6030 premium series from db modding they're the same ones that brought you guys the 6030 and the 70 something premium series uh here you go 6030 premium series 100 horsepower variable transmission 185 liters fuel which goes 24 miles an hour we could bump that up to 50 kilometers which is 32 miles an hour and then we can increase the engine from 110 to 120 and 135 horsepower up from 100 so you've got all those and you've got all those with that either 24 mile per hour or 32 mile per hour max speed will brands to bring us trailer board midas michelin nook in continental Fridastan, and back in again so the same tires you would be used to seeing but in just a different order there designs we have left beacon right beacon both of them or neither extra lighting we've got that on the front attachments we have a 60 kilogram front weight which is just a weight holder you can do 360 560 760 1010 and you've got a front hydraulic on there too starfire 6000 is a yes or a no front loader attachment we have the quickie we have a quickie with a front bracket we have the hower 
with a front bracket. And then we have the MX on here, which is really cool. No John Deere, unfortunately, though. Uh, missed opportunity there. Front fenders, yes or no. And then your license plate. Next is the FarmTech EDK500 TDK900. Two trailers in this pack today from BGamer003 and Selbul. Don't know how to say the other modder's name. Let's just move on and pretend I said that out loud. Um, it does require 30 horsepower, so we'll explain that. So we have the Bell trailer itself. Then we have a standard trailer, 5,000 liter capacity or 2.5 thousand we bump that up to 7,500 and then we have a secondary version with the 7,500 uh, tertiary version and then we've got tertiary versions of the other sets so there you go and then down into wheel brands trailer board bkt lizard and michelin tires we can change a few of those up main color options red dark red and black and then your design color is going to be green or dark green and you remember when i told you 30 horsepower i'll explain well here's your explanation i don't i I don't know why there's a horsepower rating. And this one has a horsepower rating as well. Uh, we've got very similar setups here. However, instead of doing a um, 2.5 thousand liter setup, this one's either 5,000, 9,000, or 12,000. Uh, we also have an 8,000 liter version as well. So whatever you like through there, uh, we'll stick with that. Wheel options are the same. Wheel setups are very similar. We have the same color options too. Next, we have the Chkovsky Strip Till Cedar 2022 version. This is something brand new added to the series, but it's more of an updated model more so than anything. Uh, we've got three different mods in this pack. So we have the Three meter version we have the 300 plus which is the four and a half meter version uh, it can also be three meters if you wanted to but uh bump that bad boy up to 450 and then we have the three meter cedar right here that will put seed into the ground the main hopper holds uh, seed and solid fertilizer together that 4.5 meter that is meant to be hooked up to extra things so like a 4.5 meter planter for example that we've got base game so it all works exactly like the other Chuskovsky mods that we have so let's just check out the SDK 300 2022 this holds 24,000 liters of dry fertilizer or dry fertilizer and seed combined so you can do just fertilizer if you want in here maybe you've got a three meter cedar for the back uh well that'll be good um these are also basically cultivators at the end of the day as well 100 horsepower three meters at 11 miles an hour wheel options with trailer board bkt back and forth between both of those light add-ons so we have the beacon add-on we have the led both or none and then we've got something kind of interesting. So we have the 15, 30, and different setups here on the bottom. This would be more for role play. It doesn't really matter, but it does require more setups. So maybe choose what you want. Go realistic. Don't go realistic. It's all up to you. Then we have this version, basically the same thing. However, it is a 4.5 meter work with. So no matter which one of these you go with, it's going to be 4.5 meters. Those don't make any difference in the game. They just are what they are. Uh, light add-ons are exactly the same. And the tank, you can do dry fertilizer or seeds. Again, 2,400 um, liters. And then we have that cedar, 40 horsepower on here. You can go with ridge markers. You can also go with tram line markers for the back. And then we have wheels for cereals or wheels for canola. And then we have the same setups, which will match those three meter sets. So we've got either six row or eight row. If you're going with a planter, go with a three meter planter, something like something base game. And then if you guys are going for a cedar, 4.5 meter, something like that, we'll go with that. Uh, for example, if you're going with a cedar, you can connect this to the back or something else. Or if you're going with a planter, for example, this would work great as a three meter and a four row. And then if you want to go with a four and a half meter, go with the Amazon. Next, we have the Lizard BV-1003. This is a 6.6 .6 ton bell trailer. Wheel options bring us trailer board. We've also got BKT and back in between. A couple different setups through there. Uh, main colors, or we've got everything. All base game colors are identical, and they have been able to change the wheel hubs as well. It's something I always look for because that can easily be missed. And then we have the rim colors themselves. Again, all base game colors. This does not have auto load. So heads up there. It is just a normal bell trailer. Uh, it's a very good looking bell trailer, and I think it'd be great for starting farms, things like that. Next, we have the Bree Re Manure Director 14. This is a manure spreader 
solid manure spreader. Uh, if you've got separated manure through the Pumps and Hoses DLC, you can use that on here as well. That's what that second logo was. This will hold 14,500 liters of the stuff, and it requires 140 horsepower. It's got a 12 meter working with at 9 miles per hour. Wheel options give us Nokian, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental Midas, BKT, and Vrindestad tires, and we've got a couple different options for those. Beacon lights, we've got some beacon lights or none. Main color, we have a light green, we have black and dark green, and our rim colors are regular gray, black, and red. So if you guys are running like a vent or maybe running all black, uh, these are going to match that perfectly. The model on this is absolutely incredible, and this is an extremely beautiful mod. If you guys want to use some of the best of the best, this is a good place to start. Next up, the Big Body 750 Special Edition. Does this look familiar? Well, we got some base game stuff that looks very similar to this. However, we got some new additions to it. We've got the Kloss in here. We've also got a Kloss Special Edition number two. We've also got a pink version here, or you can go with a standard and change things up the way that you want to. This is super cool because if you remember the Kloss Axion 800-870 special where you could change it up with all kinds of different like branding on the side, we just got that a few days ago. Well, this is from the same creator, so things are going to work perfectly together. I like the uh, the Kloss special edition, so that's what we're going to go with here. 37,500 liter capacity, wheel options for Michelin, Trelleborg, BKT, Midas, and Nugget as well as Vreda Stein, so that is cool, and different wheel options set up for all of those beacon lights we've got a couple different options for beacon lights on the very back so choose what you like through there uh you've got everything and then you've also got nothing speed sticker you can throw the speed on there and you can show exactly what your tractor will do toolbox of course yes and no it doesn't do anything but it is visual and that is it you cannot change the capacity unless you go up to one of these other additions, or you go with the uh, standard setup, which is 20,000 liters. And one of the cool things about this one is you've got all of those special colors to go with, and we also have rim color options as well. So you could change that if you guys want to. However, if you guys want to go with your design, you will have to choose one of the others. If you do any type of rolling in the game, that's going to be grass rolling, field rolling, or mulching, you're going to want this mod. So if you do any of those, listen up. 24.7 tons, of course, 350 horsepower is required, a 24.3 meter working with at 15 miles per hour. It is a fast boy. We could set that up between field roller, grass roller, and mulching roller. That's right, big mulcher. This is the biggest mulcher that we've got in the game, as far as I know. Michelin tires, BKT, Fredestein tires. Uh, they are going to be standard, so whatever you got there. And then um, colors. The color options are yes. Uh, let's go with Ow That Hurts My Eyes Violet for the main, and we'll go with red chromed out for the wheel options. Now, this is a pretty cool setup, man. This is a really really cool setup so i'm gonna select field roller here we do need 350 horsepower so let's go with something nice and big how about a t8 genesis with the upgraded set let's jump in because i want to show you this the base game dalbo roller that we've got does not raise and lower it just unfolds and is there ready to rock and roll this on the other hand if i remember correctly from all the teases that we got at farm some news this is super, super important. Already, I can tell that, yes, though this may weigh a lot, it's actually pretty easy to maneuver. So, as you can see here, we've got it in a raised state. We can lower it down, and then when we get to the end, we can raise it again. So, unlike the base game roller, this will allow us to raise and lower and we can rock and roll at 15 miles an hour. If you want to go mulching, get a big mulcher on here. If you guys want to do something else, you're sliding a little bit. Um, this is super cool. If you're doing any of those things, you definitely need to make sure that you have this. Get the field done quickly, for sure. All right, let's make our way over to some placeables now. First up is going to be the Modern Pigsty. This will cost you $50,000, and it will hold $150,000. Piggies, little baby piggies. This is in a modern European style, and we've got uh, areas all around. We've got a nice door through here. A little difficult to get our player through, but um, yeah, it is what it is. I always like to tell you guys uh, how difficult it is to walk through doors because 
That's not something that should be a thing. We walk through here, and here's where we've got a place where we buy the pigs. Of course, over here is going to be your slurry. Over here, it's actually a kind of cool place. This is where you put your food. You don't have to go very far to put their food in there. Uh, they don't require any water, so they'll do all that for themselves. It's kind of easy. Yeah, I like this. Next up is the clothing factory. That's right, we got a new factory for you guys. They say no need to have two factories produce clothes anymore. This factory transforms cotton and wool directly into clothing without going through the fabric manufacturing. How cool is that? So let's go in here. I want to show you guys this because it is pretty darn cool. So fabric wool, fabric cotton. Wool or cotton in and clothes out. Basically getting rid of the middleman. That's super awesome. We've got a 2800 liter per cycle or liter per cycle. Uh, 2880 cycles per month. Uh, with your uh, wool or if you got cotton uh, it's a little bit less but you get more if that makes any sense four liters of wool will make one liter of cotton or one count and then 10 liters of cotton will make three liters of clothing let's say cotton i make clothing so it's a uh, four to one or ten to three set up the 10 to 3 is definitely going to be the easiest but it is also more difficult to get a hold of and it's less so there you go. Very cool. I like this idea. I think it's very neat. Next up, we've got the flavored milk bottle factory or bottled milk factory. They say it's a bottling plant bringing milk, sugar, oats, soy, chocolate, and strawberry to be bottled. Uh, input are those things. And of course, output's going to be your uh, milk. Because we've got some custom stuff here, we also have a sell point as well. I believe this is a debranded restaurant. So that is kind of nice. And then we've got that with the sell point here on the side. So since this is a production, let's take a look at our production menu and see what is what. And here you go. We have oat milk, soy milk, chocolate milk, and strawberry milk. Inputs are going to be milk, sugar, oats, soybeans, chocolate, and strawberries. Um, for each of these, we basically have the same input, milk and sugar. And then we have some type of the crop itself. So it does look like all these are identical. All of the inputs are identical. Uh, it just replaces one count here. So it is a one to one to one, 24,000 cycles per month. It's going to cost you $24 per month. Super cheap. Um, and I'm sure the pricing is going to be pretty darn good as well. Speaking of pricing, $70,000 for the milk factory itself. And then only 4000 for the sell point. Next, this is pretty cool. This is the wash hauls pack. Um, it's just a switchable light and a stationary high pressure washer. So we'll head in here. Let's see. Let's find our light. Shouldn't be too difficult. There you go. Just on and off. And that is a vacuum cleaner. Uh-huh. There's that. We got a pressure washer. <laughs> so it just goes right there you basically pull your uh, vehicle pull your implement whatever you got into here even an area right through there this i find this type of mod super interesting i don't know why i just do i think it's really cool again we've got two different setups here we've got a uh, more concrete setup and then a darker one and should match almost anything next to last one new for all platforms going to be the small shed this costs you four thousand dollars daily upkeep of 20 bucks per day um it's well it's just a small shed ain't it yes it is and your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the lizard ls35 animal trailer we've got different setups for chickens or standards so standards going to be regular animals chickens are chickens and then your main colors will go around 6.9 ton weight nice uh four cows 13 pigs 15 sheep and nine horses this is one of the mods at the very beginning that i said needed to have some other required mods but um those seem to be the mods of their buddies that i think they were just trying to boost the download numbers a little bit uh that feature has since been removed so if you just want this and not the other stuff you should be able to get that all right jumping over two mod updates for all platforms we have the liftable bales pack from yost version 1.1 1 .1. added buyable forage chaff and sugar beet cut bales those are the brand new bales released with the last update and they set fixed prices based on bale size next up we have the update to mecklenburg lake district version 1.3 a new save game is required for this so heads up there environment redecorated courtyard conversion new launch vehicles and fruit crushing next the update to american farmlands version 1.00 
one. So fixes and changes include fix the issue where you could not use robot feed mixers for cows. Cows can get fed grain directly now, so oats or corn. Fix or fix the feed mixer wagon not being able to load straw and removed oat and corn fill types from mixer wagons. Remove the starting equipment in farm manager and start from scratch modes. Fixed AI traffic floating while leaving playable map near the main farm. Relocated Jacksonburg icon on the map to correct side. Minor adjustments to sell points and prices. Main farm mailbox is now sellable and change the meadow grass visuals. Remove the flowers and it is shorter. Additions, they've added five new fields for contracts. Custom growth schedule, soybeans are now in rows. More realistic wheat and barley. Added the ability to destroy harvested ground stalks when driving over them. Taller grass with increased yield. Oats can now be mowed for grass in light. Last growth stage cannot hire a worker for this though, so heads up there. Planters can now plant sorghum and canola. Main farm grain bin is now multi fruit. Increase the storage capacity for train wagons. Custom license plates added for players and AI traffic and added more placeable trees in landscape mode. Probably makes sense that a new save game is required. Next up, Ostis Coos 22 version 1111. No new save game is required for this one. They've got terrain smoothed, oats double changed, bells from mission can now be sold at the BGA, and mulching is now possible again. They do say in multiplayer farm decorations, fences, hedges, and halls can now be sold. And a big update to the John Deere CS770, and they've changed the name as well to the SH8R and SH12F. This is version 2. A new system for your cotton harvesters is now available for your farm. You can now engage and disengage the cotton picker. This makes it possible for you to choose between the John Deere SH-8R or the 12F pickers presented in this mod, in addition to facilitating the transport of your machinery. Now it's possible to fold the CH-770 even after exceeding the 15% capacity of the first container. Even with 100% of its load, it is possible to fold it now. The older version of the picker fixed to the harvester was was maintained so that the CS770 with the ability to hook up to the pickers and the John Deere SH8R and the 12F pickers were added. Sorted the uh, bale loca or bar location in the cotton implement category. Uh, general specs and everything can be found right through here. So let's take a look at this update. As we know, we've got the, uh, well, the version that we had before, this guy right here. But now we've got all of these different header options. So we have a 6.8 meter version and we have a folding 10.5 meter version. That's the one that you guys are probably used to seeing. And you can see here we've got different sets of wheel setups as well. Windows, mirrors, and numbers now all of that is stuff that we had before but this is our new version right here the new guy uh we can change those things up as well but you're gonna want we'll get this one just just get this one. This one's bigger. Next up, we've got an update to the Fan Favorite 500C Pack version 1.1. They've added the Fan Favorite 509C, 510C version and added configurations to the 3S70 loader for four and six cylinder versions. And here we can see that 509C, 510C version over here. As far as your customization and configurations go, 95 horsepower manual plus power shift transmission, 135 liters of fuel, and it goes 31 miles an hour. Configurations, we have standard. We have a 42 kilogram front weight uh we have 168 336 and a front three points you could do whatever it is you want engine options we do have 50 and 40 kilometers so 31 mile per hour and 24 mile per hour versions of 95 horsepower 105 horsepower and back in so that's the 509 and 510 if you guys remember the 509 and 510 from farming simulator 19 i believe it was this is very similar to that will brands bring us trelleborg michelin continental minus bkt brandestein and back in again and we've got pretty much everything you would expect to see through there beacon lights we've got left right both and near either carpentry inside the uh, carpentry carpets on the inside with or without warning signs we have standard you can throw on some european warning signs there decals we got a couple different options on the hood front loader we have the fent front loader that comes with the pack and speaking of it here it is so now we've got the version that will run a four cylinder as well next an update to the lizard p93s pack version 1.1 fixed screw conveyor control issue the auger wagon configuration has been canceled for the base trailer and a separate transfer trailer has been created in the auger wagon section added two new trailers for chaff and grapes and they do say because of separating some of the trailers they do recommend to sell all trailers 
before updating as it will cause them to disappear after the update. One of my favorite fertilizer spreaders, the Silky X50 Econom version 1.2. They've got an added color config and texture improvements. Next is the Lizard Roll update version 1.001. New store item, Lizard Mulcher. New store images, weight re regulations, and bug fixes. Next, the update to the Agriman Utension Tool Pack. Yes, I can say that out loud. Version 1.0.1. One added dump bucket, GAC, a one DP, and price adjustment. Next is the update to the tail handler pallet fork. This is version 1.001. They've added straps to the forks to make carrying large items and logs, yes, logs, easier. Next, an update to the American pack from Lancy Boy version 1.1. Workshop triggers been extended and some decorations have been removed to reduce slot counts for console players. Next to last is the liquid fertilizer tank version 1.001. They've added herbicide to buy and fix small bugs. And lastly, an update to the Fire Siren version 1.3. They've added a collision fixed bug that you couldn't sell the item and fixed bug with a siren being on all the time. Both of those I can imagine were pretty irritating, so glad that is fixed. Jumping over two new ones for PC and Mac players. First up is the Grass Roll 600L. Now this actually has nothing to do with grass. Uh, this is a solid fertilizer and lime spreader. 600 or 800 liter capacity. It weighs 150 kilograms, 18 meter spread at 11 miles an hour uh red fall colors as a matter of fact are your design are your mains and then your designs you could change those up too if you would like really <laughs> <laughs> and your last new one for PC and Mac players today is Pick Your Starting Farm. This allows players to choose their initial property and starting conditions. Working in conjunction with the economic difficulty setting, map makers can give players multiple choices to begin their farm journey with individually customized starting farmlands, vehicles, and starting funds. The mod is designed for single player use and will only work with maps that have been set up for it. And currently, the only map that's set up for it is Elm Creek. And lastly, today, let's take a look at some updates for PC and Mac players. First is going to be Ostisco's tw map 22 version 1111. No new save game is required. Terrain has been smoothed. Oat stubble has been changed. Bells from a mission can now be sold at the BGA. Animal.xml has been integrated. Mulching is now possible again as well. And multiplayer farm decorations, fences, hedges, and halls can be sold on the farm. There you go. Next up is the BSS P93S pack version 1.1. Fixed screw conveyor control issue and added two new trailers, one for chaff and one for grapes. They also say because of separating some of the trailers, they do recommend to sell all trailers in this pack before the update. It will cause them to disappear after the update. Next, an update to one of my favorite mods. This is the extended straw crop mods from Yos version 1.001. One no longer overrides custom straw from mod maps. And if you guys don't know about this mod, it takes canola, corn, sorghum, soybeans, and sunflowers and gives them straw when harvesting. Next, we have the update to Real Dirt Particles version 1.0.2. Wet particles are disabled if the mod MUD system is installed and enabled. And lastly, an update to Game Saver version 1.5. In game message added to warn you of upcoming save. Helper support has been added as well. The game can now save and shut down when your workers finish their task letting you leave your computer altogether. do you even need to play farm sim anymore well guys that is it for today's new mod video hope you enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you did get subscribed if you're new and join the goham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel again already released the first look video on the gurval pack dlc this morning it is out now for farm sim 22 on all platforms if you'd like to see how to download it or maybe you just want to see how everything works check out that video linked below all being said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace